Hello everyone, Eddie here. Ah, <sighs> Tricraft server. Yes, we got a new one. Longbow crossbow. Oh, they look fun. We got a new server. This is uh, the crackback. What? We've changed the server host, and it seems to be running really well. And yeah, we're on it. This is it. Uh, great back. So, no, new server, new ideas, new plans, new place to build. So, I thought I'd have some new ideas. Let me stand kind of here so it works. <laughs> He's getting his own back. <laughs> yeah, I keep getting him with penis jokes in the middle of his episodes. <laughs> right. If I stand here, I can show you what one of the major changes is this season. And is that? There we go. Dun dun dun. Druid Eddie. Yep, it's a new Eddie. This season, I'm going to be a druid. Or druidish at least. Oh, too many buttons. Can't find the keys. It's a dark room, that's it. Yeah, so I'm going to be a bit more natural and a bit less technical this season just for a change of pace and, oh hello bushes, food oh um, yeah it's, it's up there. I'm going to do a bit of magic there's quite a bit of magic in this pack as well so I might get some magics in I might just go for a different style of doing stuff I probably will still make a bit of technical stuff and just yonder over that hill ish well there's two hills there's this little hill and there's the chipping great big hill after it where is it down there over that hill is Mick Gloss. so he's going to be doing his technical i'm going to be doing the natural and between us we should have everything covered Spawn is that direction. Oh, I can't remember how far away it is now. 500 blocks, give or take a bit. So, we're not that far away from spawn. And, yeah, we're all on it. Every single one of us, we're all bundled on. Some of us are having trouble getting on. I had issues with any eye, which try help me sort, which is good because Mickloss has got the same issues with any eye. So I can help him sort them, having sorted it on mine. Oh, all of us have had a bit of bother getting it working, but we are working. There was a sheep deficit, <laughs> because everyone's looking for sheep and there's not that many about, but I have found some. I have found some sheeps. Uh, there we go, Darsten's on at the moment, and Dryonus, as you saw. So they're causing mischief, mischief over by spawn, I assume. But it's a very wooded area around here, which kind of gave me the idea of doing the druidy bit. Living in the woods, working with the landscape, the trees, etc. And seeing what we can do. And there was this great wood just sat out here doing nothing, minding its own business. And I thought, yeah, that's going to be where I reside. So I dug a little hole under it for now. So I mean it's roots. Chest full of junk. Nothing spectacular in there as you can see. But no, we're going to be having some fun. We've got no, no. no. First off is going to be a lot of just finding out what's going on in the pack there's some, supposed to be some really good mobs that's another reason I parked around here sheep, <laughs> that's why I parked around here I found a couple of these R's magical pools, there's one there and there's one slightly off that direction which gives me a lot of R's magica stuff I've got a really nice deep dark swamp over here which should prove interesting. 
Is there another great wood or just a dark? It is another great wood. No spiders webs. No fun. At least you can see the kind of locale I'm in. That sounds magic. We'll have one of them just because it's there. But no, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, build wise. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do mod wise. But I'm probably going to avoid all the techie stuff to start with. Because. I went overboard on that last time, and it really did cause problems with the server, bless it. Poor little server didn't like how much I was doing. So if I can keep myself under control a bit, then it should make it easier for me and for everyone else. Hello. Is someone in there? Hello, I'm a druid. Boop. Don't mind me if I steal your iron. I'm sure druids use iron. Don't mind me. Having that, and that, and that, and that. That's all nicely magical. Hello. Look, I'm a pacifist. Don't hit my people. Pacifies you. That it told it. You just can't tell some monsters, can you? Look, you're a pacifist. Can't right, can't take that at the moment. But I should be back for it. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Slowly creeping in deeper. There are some brilliant mods. Can I get topaz with them? Don't know if that's going to give it me. That'll be a no then. There, yeah, there's some brilliant mods in this pack. You've got all the normal technical ones. And plenty of magical ones as well. Like the Ars, we've got Ars Magica, Thorncraft. We have Botania. I'm not sure if blood magic is in here, but it probably is. Um, I'll have your egg. Thank you. What else have we got in here? This, oh, I'll tell you. Check out the crack pack. I'll tell you when we got in there. We have taken a few things out. Namely, hats mods. Because hats mods, hat stands, tails, and... Uh, Nematocraft. None of us really interested in Nematocraft. And it does cause a lot of, well, gen with all the plants that pop and explode and stuff. And they, to be honest, they're just a pain in the bum if you don't use the, don't use the mod. So we, we kind of voted to have that one taken out. Oop, there we go. So, we got that in here. But there's loads and loads and loads in here. There's like Trionis just found that he's um, just found all the weapons mods in here. We shall have some fun, that is for sure. I've got two there. And if I cook up these two, I've oh, plenty of cult spare for them. Yes, if. It's it's a very abundant mod pack. So I'm going to try and do this one differently. As I say, with the last one, Bevo pack, I went very technical and done everything technical. This one, I'm going to try and do it a little bit more nature friendly. What are they? What am I growing? Walnuts. Right, we'll have some walnuts there. So this will be kind of my grove. The grove of trees and nature. And everyone will be happy and run around free and until they come near me and I stab 
No, it's the cult of the lost what's it. Because mm. we've lost we've lost the what's it, so we have to find it. It's the basic druidic cult. This one is. So I might go and steal some dryads from somewhere. Someone's found some already, so I might go and kidnap them. Get myself a couple of golden lessos knocked up. See, I'm going to have to do some technical stuff to get the bits I want, like I want a magnum torch. So to get a magnum torch, I've got to get QED running. To get QED running, I've got to get tons of other stuff running. So I might have to do some, or at least assist Miklos in doing it. And just pilfer a magnum torch. Hmm, that might be the way to go. But that's kind of where we're at and what we're going to do. It's going to be very much a simple mod. A simple pack. And I'm just looking at this tree thinking, can I live up the tree? I do believe I can live up the tree with some wood. <laughs> Let's see if I can get up the tree. See what's up there. Now it would appear like it's going to be fun. What have I got? Birchwood. Birchwood will do. And a bit. Should get plenty. And. 12. More than enough. More than enough. I mean, technically, druids wouldn't drop, chop down trees, but. I should be chopping them. Chopping them? I should. Get out of the water! I should be chopping them down and replacing them with other trees. So, it's going to be a semi, semi druidic <laughs> existence. It's going to be, oh, come up there. It's going to be eddy druism. Druidism, that's the word. Well, it'll be slightly different to what normal druids would do. Uh, can I still go up there, wouldn't you? And mm, that loot. That brings me into a first platform there. Right, that's good. I can live in the tree, it works. And of course, I used all my torches up then. Yes, I think that will work. Druidy lives in the tree. Eventually, when I get some vines trimmed, I guess I can do that. Now. Uh, strip that, strip that. What was I getting? Torches. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm not going to try and wear too much armour this season as well. Cause, I mean, last season I was in OP super gear, wasn't I? So, this season I'm going to start off with just my leather hat, my leather shoes. And me throw it out of it and see what we can get from there. Oh, Fadaniel. And see what we can get from there. Hmm. May not be what everyone is used to when it comes to more type play, because I don't know too much about these magic mods. I think. I may take a bit of time to learn them and have a nice relaxing mod pack. What do you reckon? You reckon that's a good idea? I do. I think it's going to be fun. If nothing else, I can terrorise all the others. Worst case scenario, when I get too bored, I'll make a tech pack. A secret under tree base which is what usually would happen uh, 25 of them plenty boop, 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 boop. Boop. there you go I should use the ladders elsewhere but for niceness and green ecology 
I think the vines will suit us perfectly. Now she'll have a little bit of a look around the tree. See what I can do to make it habitable. Don't need much in it, just need a chest for food. Uh, what do I need in there? Chest for food and space for my bed at the moment. The rest of it I can store under the tree. I think that works. Put a couple more vines around it. Give it, get on, give it a bit of flavour. And before you know it, we'll have a very, very happy tree. Oh, that's a nice long route up there. That might be a different route into a different part of the tree. Hey. See what we can get up to up there. While we're here. Boop, 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 boop. That leaves us two. And that one. Things I can get onto there. Yeah, so that's even closer to top. That's brilliant. That works a treat. We'll put another torch there because we can always put platforms off at these then like in and out of the branches I can trim other trees down it's got the other one over there wherever it was over that way somewhere we can always trim some of the leaves off that come back and bulk this one out and yes we have a magpie in a tree yeah that's gonna work it's gonna work so and certainly, with not much done, not much planned, that is kind of what's going to be happening. So, have a brilliant day everyone, and I shall see you next time. Bye!